Welcome back to another Marvel Snap video. Today we're going to be messing around with Hope Summers, one of my favorite cards to be added in a while. I think you guys are really going to enjoy this. Let's get into it. So as you guys can see, this deck got us up to infinite. We are currently rank 911, which is cool. Being in the top 1,000, I know that there's other creators that are higher than that, but I'm happy to be in the top 1,000 and see if we can continue to push with some pretty cool decks. This one right here, though, uh, we've played 43 games with, so it's an okay sample size. Um, obviously, it doesn't have 100, 200, but we're also not sitting at like 10 or 15 games. So we've had some pretty good sample sizes. Let's get into the deck and see what it's all about. So today's deck is made up of Kitty Pride, Nico Minoru, Angela, Craven, Elsa Bloodstone, Jeff, Hope Summers, Spider-Man, Spider-Man Miles Morales, Hobgoblin, Vision, and Magneto. So first off, we've got Kitty Pride. I'm so happy to be playing Kitty Pride again. Obviously, she's not as strong as she was before, but Kitty Pride is just a really fun card, especially for someone like me who has ADD, who wants to always be doing something. We've got Kitty Pride in here to just be able to play, slowly add power to, um, to activate Angela, and also to activate Hope Summers. So just a really good card that as you play, allows you to play every single turn on Hope Summers while gaining power, so it's pretty important in this deck. We also have Nico Minoru here, which can do lots of different things for you. One of my favorite is when we play Nico Minoru with the spell that gives uh, Nico plus two power. Which one is it? This one right here. Double this card's power. Whenever we play Nico with this as the final card on Elsa Bloodstone, then uh, Nico ends up being eight power so lots of different things we can do here we can use the move one to play a card on top of angela and move it play a card on top of hope and move it lots of really good stuff with nico here too now angela is one of the cards that i have played the most i have over four thousand boosters with angela i kind of miss the old angela but she was getting pretty strong with everything else that was going on but here we've got angela we and we've got cards that we can move off of it so kitty pride is going to activate angela jeff is going to activate it spider-man is going to activate it uh, and we can move those all around and do lots of stuff uh getting angela up to a pretty good uh power point craven in here is solid obviously works with magneto spider-man uh jeff and, uh, and the likes. So you can get Craven up to uh, uh, an okay amount. Um, Craven's definitely a card that you can flex out if you would like to, but um, it's worked fairly well for me. Elsa Bloodstone is another one of those cards that can really, really help you out with this deck, especially if you have Elsa on top of Hope Summers and you are able to play Vision down early, getting Vision up to a 10 and then moving it, playing Jeff, getting Jeff up and moving it. All of these different things you can do to get extra power from that Elsa Bloodstone is just incredible. We've got Jeff just because it's a solid card. If you don't have Jeff, obviously you can throw a Nightcrawler or something along those lines, but Jeff is preferable, uh, just giving you access to any sort of location, Professor X locations, all that kind of stuff, and being able to play it on Elsa and Hope and move it is just really solid. Hope Summer's again in here just to let us be able to do lots of stuff, uh, giving us extra energy to be able to play that kitty, be able to play lots of things, get them down, have a lot of activity going on. Hope Summer is, is, is really fun and I think opens up the gates for people to be uh, creative. We got Spider-Man here doing work for us. Obviously, you can play it on top of Angela, activating Angela and moving. You can also use it as a control style card. I've been seeing a lot of Living Tribunal decks and being able to play Spider-Man on that location, say final turn and move their Iron Man, move their Onslaught, do something along those lines could end up swinging things in your favor. We've got Miles Morales here uh, helping us out as well, giving us that one five whenever we can play it. And obviously if we have Hope Summers uh, and we've been activating it, then that means final turn, we could play Magneto and uh, Miles Morales. Say we played Vision on Hope Summers and then moved it, we could play Magneto and uh, Miles, which is obviously a pretty good amount of power and control as well. We've got Hobgoblin here, which is kind of just sneaky. I don't think anybody's expecting it, and it has won me a lot of games. It has won me a lot of games uh, in this. You can play it on top of Angela, obviously throwing it over to your opponent's side. Again, with those Living Tribunal decks, um, if they have magic down and they play Iron Man, typically you know that they might play Onslaught, but leave room for uh, another card. You can just throw that Hobgoblin in there and say, thank you very much for the cubes. Uh, but being able to play Hobgoblin on top of Angela or just in other locations where you want some control, 
And then on turn four, you play lots of things. But what it does allow you to do is play Hobgoblin and Kitty or something uh, along those lines. You can play it on top of Hope. It goes to their side. Lots of fun stuff with Hobgob here, too. Vision is just a solid card and can be activated uh, by Bloodstone uh, to get it up to 10 power. You can obviously play it on top of Hope Summers and then move it. Really, really good stuff here. Vision's just super versatile and helps you kind of avoid Eliath if you think your opponent might be playing it. And then Magneto lately has been really messing with me. Um, and so I was like, maybe I'll throw Magneto in here as a control card, being able to buff my Craven. Uh, on the way over as I pull things, but also being able to control some certain locations. Say somebody's playing Miss Marvel, you can potentially move the Miss Marvel, making them lose their buff, all that kind of stuff. Magneto's doing work for us. Let's jump into the games. Okay. We can take our time here because we've got hope. Whoo. Not bad for us. That's wildly unfortunate. In fact, I can almost guarantee that it's gonna get destroyed, but that's really all we can do. We will be able to play Hobgob on turn four. I'll, well, if Hope Summer survives, we'll be able to play it. So we have a 75% chance to play Hobgob on turn four. <clears throat> Heck yeah. Double this card's power. One. Two. Wait. I don't know why I needed, uh, why I thought I could, I would be able to play Hob on turn four. Like, no, you won't be able to. Uh, I don't think they're gonna do anything right here, but they do have priority. And I think it might be smarter to do this. Oof, but what if it goes here? I mean, I'll, I'll give it a try, whatever. I probably should have left Jeff there. It's gonna go mid. Nice! Nice! Yes! That's so good! I almost don't want this to move though. I mean, we're winning this, so I think I need to do this, this, and this. Oh my gosh, let's go. That Sarah was so risky for them. Wait, they can move Jeff's to the middle. I forgot they could move Jeff's to the middle. That only gives them six, though. So maybe this Spider-Man play is actually going to end up being bad for us. They're trying to figure it out. I might have just made a really big mistake. I might have just made a really big mistake. I just need them to be full right here. Okay. Woo! Man. Victory. Dude, sick hobgob right there. Let's go. Ooh. Interesting. We might wait just a little bit depending on what we draw. 
Why does Nico always do that? If you play your next card, double this card's power. Interesting, okay. <clears throat> oh! I don't like that. I will snap though, just because I can do this. Watch them end up having like Quake or something when I haven't seen Quake in a hundred games. I am Iron Man. What are they messing with? Tribunal? Such is my judgment. <clears throat> I mean, I want to bring this over here, but if they go, if they go onslaught here, then obviously that's going to be huge. I think I might need to go here, 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 and here just to try and win it. So it doesn't look like it was Onslaught. It is Onslaught. Oh, I'm not sure hand. how. Whoo! Okay. Moving the three there did it for Victory. us. Wow. Because otherwise they would have had 12 more power there. <laughs> that was sick. Let's go. All right, so starting off here, we've got Elsa, Craven, and Jeff. Titania might not be a bad uh, card to play final turn um, to potentially help us out, or we could use it to also maybe help block somebody if possible. Um, not playing Thanos, so don't really have to worry about them drawing into two one-drops here. That'd be kind of rare. Uh, okay, Domino, Agatha or Bot? Rank 1184, so I don't think that it's a bot. This is a little bit of a bummer. Um, but we've got Hope Summers here, which is freaking awesome. Gonna help us out here. Hopefully we can draw into Kitty, maybe. That would be solid. What is this gonna be? Wow. Great work. After you play your next card, give it plus... Uh, okay, look at this. So I'll go here and here. This is obviously a huge bummer for us. Um, actually, do I want to... Yeah, I want that to be there. I was going to play Craven here, but it is what it is. Okay, there's the Agatha. So they're playing Agatha Hella. And they got pretty lucky on our vision there. So a bit of a bummer there. Uh, but obviously we've got a pretty solid Jeff too. <clears throat> we can go Craven, Jeff, and Vision right here. And then uh, hopefully we can go Hobgoblin and cause some issues. 
I don't think I'm going to be playing Titania, even though I could. Maybe I'll play it as my last card on one of these locations. Interesting, okay. If they move this vision, they are now going to buff us, so that's going to be appreciated. Okay. So now what I think we do is go... Do we think they have a life? I don't think that they have a life. We're gonna go over here, and then I'm gonna go one, two, and three. I think they're playing Hella. I don't think they're playing Elias. Okay, there it is. is that Agatha gonna make them win? No. Nice. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Whoo! Goodness. Oh, so good. Victory. Wow. That's a good one to start on. All right, definitely don't like Triskelion right there. Double this card's power, but we will go ahead and just throw this down to start getting some stuff worked out. Um, okay. Oh, uh, they could be playing a destroy deck. I think they go Deadpool here. Let's see. Play there, maybe? Let me uh, let me draw something from you. Ah, bummer. Oh, they have a Craven too. Nice. Good for you. I think that it would happen after the fact. But I mean, I think I think I'm gonna play here a good bit. We'll see what happens. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Okay. Unfortunate, but clears up a little bit of room for us here. So I actually don't mind that too much. Um here. And here. It's almost feels like a mirror matchup. Like, what the heck? Haven't even posted this video yet. <laughs> Is this collector a part of their deck? No, it's from Triskelion. Wow, okay. Um, okay, so we're gonna go. And do this and this. We'll see where it takes us. Pretty good stuff. You go to the right. No, okay. Oh, nice. So they don't get a buff either. <clears throat> okay. I gotta play one extra. I wonder if they. I think they're gonna try and play here. Um, I almost want to do this. Alright, we'll go Elsa, Hope, and then we'll hope to get Kitty or Nico. Frig. Elsa? Uh, okay, so I'm guessing... Ugh. I'm guessing this is a uh, Moon Girl, uh, She-Hulk, whatever. Whatever deck. Work for me here. Do you play? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is one of the... Uh, 
I like doing this because it gives us eight, and I highly doubt that they have a Killmonger. And we'll be able to play Vision here and get that to be fairly big. I think I'll snap against them if I'm honest. Yeah, especially with us being able to uh, play Magneto and move the Bishop if we need to. Would love to draw into Kitty as well, but that might be... Might be pushing it there. I might very well just end up leaving this here. All right, now give me my one drop. Um, I'm trying to think of how I can do actually, um, <clears throat> maybe throwing a, a negative eight here could be good. I just wish I could do both of them. Kitty would have been nice because we could have played Kitty right here and then played Spider-Man and Hobgob. Um, I almost want to do this too, but I don't... That's guaranteed to move the six over. I think I do this. Nice. That should be a win for us. Heck yeah, dude. Come on, that's big time. Let's go. Victory.